morning and welcome to we are making great progress on the Rodney Winnipeg <laughs> okay yeah we, we are making pretty good progress here we're in a few minutes we're going to be turning the page I probably could have turned it last night but I didn't uh, got all the parts on our module here as, as near as I can tell for step 42 uh, now there is a really good chance that we're going to be starting on the Iowa before the snow falls now I'm not expecting the snowfall until oh probably the usually around Halloween which is the end of October so so we've got about another six weeks or so to go and like I say there's a good chance we'll be starting on the Iowa now I've got an idea for the Iowa and when when I clunk the coffee cup down here I don't have an Iowa coffee cup I'm going to design one this place is here in Winnipeg you remember Jeff sent us the uh, uh, the coffee cup and uh, he had designed it and printed it out and everything well there's, there's places that do that here in Winnipeg and I kind of think I'm going to design my own Iowa coffee mug and uh, I, I was looking over over you can't see it right now but over there leaning up against the fireplace <laughs> is the Iowa kit and I was looking at the the box and I was thinking my goodness that that drawing the trumpeter put on the front is 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 perfect you know it's 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 long it could would wrap around the the coffee cup and and uh, I, I think I'm gonna you know snap a photo of that and uh, see if I can bring it up in Corel draw and get it sized just right and maybe add some other stuff to it maybe being as it's an American ship maybe stars and stripes or something like that I don't know yet but it's a thought and uh, yeah I'm actually I'm not bragging but I'm, I'm actually pretty good at designing stuff like that and uh, but I've never had a coffee cup made before uh, or made or made one so I, I can't really I don't really know how it's going to turn out but that that's the plan for right now and I don't have to have it for at least probably six weeks or so uh, anyway uh, let's let's roll back and uh, see how it is we got to where we are and uh, then I guess we'll be uh, turning the page. Oh, the sunrise. I forgot. It was nice, as you saw. <laughs> okay, now we'll roll back. Well, here we are on this beautiful Monday afternoon here in Winnipeg. It's outside a minute ago, and I thought, boy, is it ever warm out. Came in, looked at the thermometer, and it's 31.8 Celsius. <laughs> that is most unusual. And it got warm really quickly, because earlier this morning I had my windows open, and I was thinking, oh, I better close them. It's cold breeze coming in. Anyway, I don't dare open them now. It'll be a hot breeze coming in. Yeah. What I've done here is uh, I've taken the uh, 66, and I have gone around, just around this outside area right here, and uh, needless to say, I got some of the 66 on our, on our railing, or maybe I should say our gate. So what I'm going to do now is take the 77 and just try and touch up the gate. And also, down on the deck, I was noticing when I was editing out at the end of yesterday's episode, uh, that it uh, didn't look too healthy there. Now, mind you, this, this is the far side of the ship when it's in its case. Nobody will see this unless I put a mirror in the back of the case. But I know it's there, and I just want to have the fun of seeing if I can, uh, you know, fix it up a little bit. Okay, just let me uh, reposition here very carefully. And, uh, yeah. Okay, you're not going to believe this, but just a moment ago, just before I was going to push record here, and I was getting all set up, the sucker upper pulls ne pulls up next door, and he cranks up his equipment. Now well, maybe I got too much on the brush there. Okay, all I want to do is try and and get this on the top here. Just 
just sort of make it match. Now I, I know you can't see up the post on the gate. Okay, let me check the monitor. Uh, maybe just a tiny bit way inside there. That's too hard to get. Well, okay, I'll reposition the camera and then we'll try and go up the uh, where the hinges would be on the gate. Okay, let me check the monitor here. I think I better quit while the quitting's good. Okay, I think it was about two episodes ago I was saying something to the effect of it'd be nice if I could lay these on their side and let gravity be our friend. Now, uh, this isn't on its side, but if almost 45 degrees it's probably about 40 degrees over and uh, you can see they want to stay there and I'm kind of curious here are we going to be covering up the detail here Yeah, it, it, they cover up the, those vents. Um, well, maybe that's the way it was on the on the on the real Rodney too, but I don't think so. Oh well, that's it is what it is, right? Okay, I'm not going to frustrate everybody by smearing glue all over the place like I did the last time. Uh, I'm just going to quickly do them. There's, there's five of them have to go on these two. There's two go on right here, and this one goes on on the uh, back part. Okay, we'll see you when they're on. Now, as near as I can tell here, we are done. This side of step 42. Okay, this is all that's left to go on the other side. I've turned, I've turned the thing around here. And uh, it, all of this is going to be just mirror image of what we already did on the other side. I'm going to try and quickly do it here. Maybe I'll get it done this evening, maybe I won't. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But I'm just going to go, uh, go at it off camera. Okay, we are done with this uh, with this side now. Got all those all those pieces on. I've uh, touched up with with uh, the sixty six and the seventy seven where need be, and there needed be. <laughs> uh, but it's it's uh, still a little bit wet in places, so we'll we'll look at it uh, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I think I've done about all I want to do here tonight. I was thinking of maybe giving the uh, railings over there a uh, a third coat, but I, you know, what do we got here? 16 minutes after 8. I think it's time to uh, call it a night. So, uh, yeah. We'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And I was going to give our railings here a third coat with the Steinel res. 
And um, I was looking at them, and I was holding them so that the light would reflect off of the uh, off of the photo etch. Like I, I know that you can see bare photo etch here and here and so on, but I'm, I'm talking about the the actual railings and stanchions. And uh, I there was very very few places where I could see reflection, and I'm thinking, well, I'm probably going to have to touch this up later anyway. So um, what I've decided to do here is I am not going to give it a third coat because they are 99% or better done now. And all I would be doing is, is just, you know, putting it on thicker and uh, losing the, the detail of the rail, if you know what I mean. The thicker the paint the, and the, in some, some of the little corners where there's little paint build up and so on, there'd just be more of that sort of thing. So I've decided not to give them a third coat. I'm going to wait until the railing is on, and there's a chance that the that the place where there is where where the railing needs to be repainted, I might not use that piece of railing anyway. Okay, I think I've beat this to death. Bottom line is we're going to wait until after this is stuck down on the uh, on the gunnels because that's that's where most of this is going to go. Uh, uh, the, there is another there is another spot on on the module uh, where I thought like around the little around where the little boats are, and I was thinking that possibly uh, that should have had a railing around it. But checking the drawings and so on and and the, and the line art that that came with the kit and it appears that there was no railing on most of that. So uh, anyway, that's probably why Trumpeter didn't have special specialty railing, you know, uh, cut to go there. Um, okay, uh, I think it's time to uh, turn the page here. Okay, step forty-three. All right, now forty-three. I don't know if I need to even bother putting a clip on here. Anyway, 43, we take our module and put it on the uh, on the main deck. And, uh, well, I notice they've got this thing installed here, but I think that goes way back to an earlier step, and I decided to put it on last because I didn't want to break it off. And the same thing with the... Uh, the uh, the en the ensign flag staff and the uh, jack stand um, yeah we were going to leave those till last weren't we I'm just thinking out loud here step forty three my goodness is well we should be able to get through that by the end of the day unless there's a I have a trouble with fitting well, well let's uh, stop talking about it let's rearrange our uh, model table here and uh, you know sail our hull onto the deck. Okay, I don't think we're going to be needing the manual to uh, position this thing. And I don't think we're going to be needing this anymore. Alright, now, very carefully here. Guess maybe if I stood up it'd be a little safer. I'm just going to get these hoops off and reposition. Okay, now there are very few places I can actually grab hold of this thing. For instance, we got these very, very delicate little radar things sticking out of the end. And there, there's more all the way along. This railing that we've put on, we've got to get it up off of the blue tack now.
Oh, I bumped it. Well, all I did was I bent it a little bit to the left. I'll bend it back to the right and it should be back to normal. Oh, just right after I said, be careful. All right, I, I, th I think everything's all right. Let me check the monitor. That oh, looks okay. All right, now this end here. position. I think though after we take a look at this my next step will be to make it so that I can uh, put hoops over top of it. Okay here's the plan. Now because these hoops are too short to go all the way down here to the plywood I'm gonna have to once again use something like this. So we've, we've got a couple here, so that'll be good. But I've got to glue some more down. You can see where one used to be here. I don't know if that was maybe for the Bismarck <clears throat> or maybe for the hood. I wonder if we're going to be using the same thing for the Iowa. Um, anyway, I'm very careful when I reach over. Yeah, I can see where where this is going to work okay here. Um, but I have to have the same thing for, for this one right here. I mean, this is very fragile. It almost bends by looking at it. Um, I'm going to call today's episode a day, even though it's it's uh, it's a lot shorter than they've they've been lately, and. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and, and work on this. I don't want to have to be messing around with the camera and watching things like this at the same time. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.